It's been one week now since the scheduled date for the closure of the Manus Island Detention Centre, but with around 600 men are still there refusing to move. Local lawyers for the detainees have sought an injunction from PNG's Supreme Court, which would compel the government to reconnect services and to provide food and security for them. The Australian Medical Association says it has grave concerns about the health and well-being of those on Manus, and AMA President Dr Michael Gannon joins us from Perth now. It's very early over there, so really appreciate your time. Michael Gannon, firstly, uh, what are you hearing uh, from the doctors on the ground there about the medical condition of these men? Well, we're not hearing a great deal from doctors, uh, and it's very, very difficult to get a true picture of what is going on. Uh, what we've been calling for for some time now is, is transparency about the, uh, the arrangements uh, for these men. Uh, we had something along those lines previously had a good relationship with Dr John Braley, the Chief Medical Officer of the Department of Immigration and Border Protection. That's one of the things we're calling for, is a, a better idea of exactly what is going on. So what, what fears do you have uh, if, as, we've, as we're learning ourselves, and, and we are only relying on very scant information because of the information con con controls on the island, if, if those men are, are forced to stay or stay by their own choice in this detention centre now without power, food and water supplies? Well, we're concerned about both physical and mental aspects of the health of these, uh, of these uh, wretched souls who are who are stuck in a, a bigger political game. Um, uh, they have great uncertainty in their lives, they have done for years, um, and we're hearing, hearing unverified reports about uh, reduced access to, to medication. Um, some medications, as you know, need to be refrigerated. Um, uh, we, we hear um, different reports about, uh, about the quality of what's available in the, um, uh, in the alternative accommodations uh, uh, being set up elsewhere on the island. Uh, uh, what we want uh, is independent verification of the living standards of these men. Um, uh, that's the only thing that doctors can possibly call for is uh, appropriate healthcare standards for a group of people who, although they're not Australian citizens, are entitled to protection under Australian law. But there has been a private company uh, set up and the government insists it is ready to provide both primary health care and primary mental health care to these men at this alternative detention centre uh, away from uh, the, the current one. So uh, shouldn't it be the case of the, of the detainee simply going to that new one? Well, I think what we need is, uh, is an independent look about, at the truth of what is going on. And uh, I think that the secrecy uh, doesn't... Uh, uh, doesn't assist the government's case. Uh, if it is the case that, uh, uh, that appropriate facilities are available elsewhere on the island for, uh, to take care of the mental and physical health needs uh, of these men while they await resettlement, uh, whether that's uh, under the program agreed with the United States uh, or elsewhere in the world, uh, let's see it. Uh, if that means uh, that a group of uh, independent experts uh, uh, medical professionals, other professionals from Australia can, can verify this, well then that is in the interests of the government uh, uh, to, uh, to reveal that to the Australian people. Now aside from potential physical injuries, Michael Gannon, uh, what are the possible long-term mental health consequences for these men? Well these uh, men have often left very trying circumstances in their country of origin. Uh, they haven't necessarily had a particularly easy journey and of course uh, for many of them they've been uh, languishing in less than ideal conditions for a period of time. Um, the most important thing these men need is, uh, is certainty in their lives and uh, uh, we just don't know exactly what's going on on Manus Island. Uh, some of the claims by refugee advocates uh, cannot be verified, some of the claims by government cannot be verified. We ask, uh, like we have been asking for for many years now, uh, an independent authority that can look at the healthcare standards of this individual group of men, of the men, women and children on Nauru, uh, and any uh, unfortunate souls who find themselves in this situation again. Uh, transparency is in the interests uh, of the government. Uh, uh, even if the Australian people support offshore detention, which they're said to do, uh, a great majority of Australians are uncomfortable with the prospect that people who should enjoy our legal protection 
uh, are not being afforded the appropriate standard of care. Okay, AMA President Michael Gannon, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Pleasure, Michael.